there have been a lot of changes in women's bodybuilding. Uh, just look at all the different divisions we have now. Fitness, figure, now the bikini division. Well, today we're going to talk to Bev Francis, who is really, back in the day, one of the forerunners of women's bodybuilding, weren't you, Bev? Um, yeah, I was around in, in probably the start of the real women's bodybuilding when um, when women really started to develop muscles. Now, a lot's changed over the years. You happen to be a judge now for the IFBB. What kind of changes have you seen in women's bodybuilding? Well, there were, I mean, there were a lot of changes when I first came in. Um, the movie Pumping Iron 2 brought in a lot of changes. Um, uh, you know, I had a very muscular body from powerlifting, um, and that, in fact, brought in a lot of changes. A lot of women followed, liked the look of the muscle, the, the muscle bulk that, that I had in those days. And from that time, the, the sport became much more muscular. Corey Everson brought in her own special look of, that really had a combination of, of a lot of muscle density, but also with an elegance. She carried it well. Um, I mean, she she was, I think, the greatest Olympia of her era. I would sort of say there's two eras, uh, like a modern era and, a, and the, the original era, and Corey definitely dominated the original um, era. Um, then uh, the sport actually went into a little bit of a turmoil. It was developing so quickly, I think, that a lot of people had difficulty accepting um, muscularity in women. and. Uh, commercially, it's a little, it's a hard sell. A lot of people, you know, outside the sport, didn't really like the muscularity. You know, inside the sport, it was a small sport, and and, and the fans loved the muscle. And I think for a little while, it kind of went like they tried to almost control the muscularity, and s there was always the femininity issue, the balance of femininity, and it, you know, it's a tough call. So the sport went down a little bit in muscularity, and then came back up again through the 90s. Uh, late 90s and into the, the new millennium. Now, when, when you say muscularity, are you talking strict bulk and just mass, or are you talking about, again, maintaining that feminine line? No, I'm, I'm really talking about bulk. Plain old bulk. Bulk no, no. and, I mean, and definition. Um, the women in, the, 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 um, in this later era, and Iris Kyle, is the representative of, of the, the best, I mean, yeah. she's the most amazing athlete in, yeah. in this latter era. And I mean, the, the definition, muscularity, just the, the balance, uh, just the amount of muscle she has. I mean, she could compete against so many men. She's an, just an amazing, amazing athlete. I mean, she, her muscularity is just mind boggling. But she is so good because it, it, it is symmetrical because she does carry it well, her frame. Yeah. You know, it does carry it. Unfortunately, I think a lot of the modern women don't carry it well. I think that the the amount of muscle, it's a lot of muscle, but it's not it's not put on proportionately. I think also the um, implants, um, breast implants, have really thrown the balance off in a lot of the women. Um, and I don't think you know large breasts really go with a muscular lean physique. It, they don't tie together because breasts are essentially fat. You know you got like zero, two percent body fat and then you have large breasts. It's a dichotomy. Yes, it, I mean to me it doesn't look right. Where do you think we're going with uh, the sport? I mean there's so many divisions. They just opened a bikini division now. What's going on with the women's bodybuilding the, with all the divisions and not just the, the bulking up the large uh, you know, bodybuilders? Well I, I think the, you know, the, the MPC is, is really trying to open up a venue or a, a, an area for all women who train and who are interested in health to compete. Women with good bodies love to show it off. Um, and so by, by having bodybuilding, they're now introducing women's physique, uh, which is going to start this year, which is kind of in between bodybuilding and figure. Um, so it's kind of a little more muscular than figure, but not as bulky and as hard def defined as bodybuilding. So it's sort of a, a more of a pretty muscular, yeah, it's kind of in between. That. How do you keep all this straight as a, as a judge, really? We're up to, what, five women's divisions. How do you, how do you keep it straight? Uh, well, there are, there are guidelines. There are strict guidelines. And uh, when you've been in the sport and judging the sport for as long as someone like me and, and there's, the judges have been judging longer than I have. Well, that's only four years, Bev, right? Because you, you, you got out at, I think, 27 and you're 31 now, so. Yeah, a little older. What are your goals as uh, an adult woman when it comes to weight training? 
Um, you know, I like to be strong. I mean, I was a world champion powerlifter. I love, I love the feeling of being strong. And I think it's a wonderful, I, I encourage women to get stronger because women are not naturally strong usually. I mean, I was lucky, I was fairly naturally strong. Um, it's an incredibly amazing feeling, an empowering feeling to be able to lift heavy weights. And um, I think that, you know, women, it would, I encourage women to get strong because, as I said, it is empowering. It, it makes you feel competent, capable. And, I mean, it helps you in daily life. You don't have to get someone to open the, the jam jars for you, you know. You can carry your own groceries. It's, it just feels good. Um, so I, I want to stay strong, but obviously I can't stay as strong as I used to. So my aim is, is, is basically health. Well, I guess that would be the, the message we want to get out to the viewers. Take charge of their health and get involved, get in the gym and eat right. Yeah, and it's, it's not, it's not, you don't have to be so scientific about it, you know. It's, it's pretty simple. How simple is it, Bev Francis? Spell it out, seriously. Well, it's simple enough that you have to stay active. And, you know, what the important thing is, is to learn to love being active. When you start to be active, if you're, you know, if you're a slug and you first start to move, okay, it's going to be hard for a while. But it shouldn't take long to actually get joy out of using our bodies. That's, you know, we're made to move. And if we don't move, we become worse and, and, and more and more of a slug. And, you know, we lose the, the value of our bodies. We're physical beings. Enjoy movement. And I think, you know, that's the really important thing. You shouldn't have to do it because, oh, I have to do this because I, I, I have to, uh, because I, otherwise I'm going to get fat. Or I have to, you know, you should want to do it. You should want to do it because it feels good. And, and all it takes is just getting into an activity that you love. If, if you don't like to run, don't run. You know, if, if you like to swim, swim. If you like to dance, dance. Find an activity that there's so many things you can do. And especially in this society, there's so many sports. You've got to be able to find something that you enjoy doing. Well, we like to say in the office, motion is life. So motion is life, Bev Francis, uh, national powerlifting champion, national bodybuilder champion. Thank you very much for your time and for your insights. Thank you.